once home we can take our micro SD card from the drone we can load all the imagery into the computer we open IGSoft Metashape Pro and we can add all the picture into the software now we can see that all the picture are geometrically displayed exactly how the drone was flying so the drone was actually doing a good job we have imported 194 picture it's a lot of picture and the next step would be to check the quality of those picture select all the pictures right click on it click on image quality and ok this process will take a long time once this process is over below you might see the details of each image you see the quality quality value vary between 0 and 1 1 is the best quality and 0 is the bad quality I would advise to delete all the picture that has quality below 0.6 if you keep a picture of bad quality it might jeopardize the whole process at this point we have to change the coordinates system of our picture especially if you plan to include ground point as a reference you go on this icon you click on it and you choose the right coordinate system for Switzerland as you know it is UTM 32 North at this point it might be a good idea to save your workspace and to continue with the workflow you click on workflow align imagery you can choose the accuracy if you choose high accuracy the computer will take all the resources and uh, it will use the imagery at they are if you go low medium accuracy it will be quicker choose advanced and put k point limit at 120,000 it gives a better result and type point limit zero if you want to know the details you have to check the manual of the software the alignment of those pictures will take a long time once the alignment is over you will have a first representation of your area in 3d at this point we need to create the point cloud you go to workflow build dense cloud and then you will have again the option for the quality you can decide between medium high lowest and ultra high if you keep ultra high the picture are going to be used as they are and of course it will take a very long time at this point I will take medium hoping that the result will be good enough for our task of course you can as well go to advanced and change the depth filtering between disabled mild moderate and aggressive if your image has important small details specially distinguished choose mild depth filtering if your image has not so many detail you can choose aggressive depth filtering if you uncheck the color of the pixel the process will be quicker you click ok and the process will start it might take a very long time if you choose very high accuracy as you can see the program has generated the point cloud more than 12 million of points and we have a visual representation of the point cloud we can continue with our workflow we go on workflow we click on mesh and we can build a mesh based on the dense cloud for 3d you have to choose the option 3d and again for the quality you can choose face count many faces or low faces as usually higher the quality more time the computer will take 
once the calculation is over you will see on the workspace the 3d model appearing you can see the amount of faces that the computer has developed you can move around and you can have a first idea about your 3d model it is time to make the digital elevation model you go to workflow and you click on digital elevation model select them digital elevation model you have to check geographic type projection be sure that the projection is the right one the source data must be dense cloud the rest uh, you can keep as they are or you can check the manual to get better knowledge about you click ok and the computer will start to process this will take again a long time once this process is over the digital elevation model is going to be displayed be aware that there is a big difference between digital elevation model and digital terrain model the digital terrain model will show the surface of the soil while the digital elevation model will show the highest point on your area it means the roof of the houses the peak of the trees drones with conventional camera produce digital elevation models you can see displayed the resolution of your digital elevation model which is much better than this one that you can achieve through the internet at this point we can produce the ortho mosaic the ortho photo you go to workflow build ortho mosaic and click ok choose projection geographic be aware that you have the right projection the parameter should be them and the rest of the parameters you can leave as it is click ok at this point the activity with Agisoft MetaShape Pro are finished we have imported the picture we have aligned the picture we have created the dense cloud for this project it took four hours and 30 minutes we have created the digital elevation model and we have created the ortho photo all this project took us more or less five to six hours in middle quality of course if you would have chosen high or ultra high quality the time would be much longer before exporting all those layers for further use we have to check the quality of our job we go to tools we go to survey statistic and we wait a few minutes once the process is over you will get this picture this picture shows the overlapping of your images the blue one is the area with most overlapping more than nine and is the area with higher quality you have to save this picture for further use later in global mapper at this point you can export the layers you can export the dense cloud you click on the layer right click on export dense cloud the best extension for this is LAS LiDAR extension which is very well known by Global Mapper and most of the GIS software you can export the digital elevation model right click on the layer and export them TIFF extension is a good one for further use and finally you can as well export the ortho mosaic the imagery export ortho mosaic egpeg is fine be aware that all these exported files are georeferenced once exported you can close igsoft metashape and open global mapper